I'm Jeff Reed. I lead the enterprise networking business here at Cisco. I've been uh, in front of this esteemed audience before. Uh, and what I want to do is actually get off stage as fast as possible at the smart guys talk, but wanted to first put what we're doing with respect to enterprise NFE into a little bit of a larger context here at Cisco. So this, this, mu this March, we introduce what we call Cisco Digital Network Architecture. You'll likely see it on some t-shirts of the folks that come up to speak after me. Uh, and, and really, it's, it's how we're thinking about the evolution of the network, both in terms of why the network's important, like, you know, what the network can do, in, and look, I love networking. I love our, the folks that use our products, the network teams that are out there. And, and what we want to do is how do we make the networking teams provide more and more value to the business? And, and the good news is I think we're at a stage whereby the network is doing that, can do it even more, and it's going to be really, really impactful. And, and for us, when I think about that, kind of three big pillars that we're looking at that the network needs to do in order to help drive this. Uh, so one's around simplicity and automation. How do we make the network easier to operate? How do we make it more responsive to the needs of the, of the, of the business? You know, it could be, in this case, how do we spin up services more rapidly, maybe remote locations? And what we'll talk about here is a good example of, of what we can do with that. So that's, that's one. The second is around, around the role of the network in terms of security. I think you know, we've done work here, but I think we're just scratching the surface of the ability for the network to really impact uh, the security environment of our, of our customers, uh, both in terms of the network has unique visibility that can identify issues that are out there, as w but also the network can, a well-segmented network can be a really, really critical part of the overall defense and protection uh, strategy for a network. And then the last one is around the network driving different new experiences. At Cisco, we talk a lot about things like workforce experience, customer experience, how does the network actually you know, allow you to do your job better, uh, allow us to have kind of unique insights about customers, about students, about um, patients? So really looking at the network is both a delivery mechanism of experience to end users, as well as a way to bring insights back to the line of business about how that's operating. So that's, that's kind of the role like where we want to drive in terms of the value that we think the network should be providing to the business over and over again. And to make that... To, kind of make that real, uh, we introduced what we call the Cisco Digital Network Architecture. And at its core, this is about a few shifts that, frankly, we've been, under, we've been underway for a while. Uh, shift to software. You know, if you think, if you look at what we're going to talk about, Cisco Digital Network Architecture, like a vast majority of the, of the capabilities delivered via software. It's a move to kind of revisiting how the network is built by Cisco. If you if you go into you know, our engineering halls, you know, A, not only are more and more of our resources on the software side, uh, but we're also doing more and more work essentially above the network device itself. So you know, what are the things, you know, n we're, you know, not just you know, working on a switch or router, but in this case, working on the NFE infrastructure software and how do we chain VNFs better, you know, working on a controller and automation layer to make that easier working on how do we do a better job of like pulling analytics out and using those analytics to drive better assurance, better understanding of the SLA, better understanding of this, your security environment. So a lot of this is around you know, software-driven architecture. We want to be very open. We'll talk about it here as well. Looking at running this solution on non-Cisco hardware, supporting non-Cisco virtual network functions as part of it. Like these are core to the digital network architecture. So software-driven, open, and extensible. You know, depending on the, we have many, many different types of customers here at Cisco. Some of them want the underlying infrastructure, like give me the switch with programmability on it and have a nice day. We'll go off, we'll create our own automation layer. Other customers, you know, I'll take your automation capability, but you're not a big fan of your GUIs or I want to tie those programmatically into my overall orchestration system. So I'll stop there. Some customers are, are find value in kind of creating the full solution, the full stack. So we want to provide that, that extensibility that kind of regardless of where you are in terms of your environment, what you're looking to enable, we should be able to deliver a, a set of hopefully compelling capabilities that allow you to do that. And, and when I look at this architecture, we just kind of four main components, and we all talk about these in a little bit. 
but it starts at the bottom. It, we call it the virtualization layer. And we'll talk a lot more about this today. But I think kind of fundamental to this shift is the work we've done on, on iOS and iOS XE, the ability for us to you know, move to a virtual form factor for these network functions and to be able to support that in a really flexible way. And we think this is an opportunity that's really going to, it's, look, it's early. You know, this is something that has been working on the service provider space for a while, and kind of the whole NFE world. It's early for enterprises. I mean, most customers we go out and talk to, some of them are thinking about it, but haven't really, haven't really done much. Like, we want to be out there in front with customers that see value in this, work hand in hand with them as they go through this cycle. I think it'll, it'll help us continue to improve the solution and the capabilities. Hopefully, we can drive kind of unique value with the customers as well. So I'm really, really excited about the subject. Um, can't wait to hear the questions you guys have is, uh, during the, the next bit. And with that, I figure let's get into the, the real technology, and I'll hand it over. And uh, Liad, are you next? Yep. All right, perfect. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks again for your time and, uh, and, and giving us the feedback.